Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to DS vocals in Reaper using automation items. I have a vocal in front of me here, and I've already gone through and created some automation. So I can adjust the volume line by line in each syllable to get a very balanced vocal sound. And I use the pre effects volume envelope. Right over here, volume pre effects. Before it looked like this, and after it looks like this. A lot smoother. Now I did it with a pre effects envelope so I could see the results right here, and also because we can balance the sound before the effects. On this track, I have a compressor and an EQ, and I want to hit that compressor with a more even vocal. But now that I want to de-S the vocal or reduce the S sounds, I also want to do that pre-effects. So again, they don't hit the compressor or the EQ unnecessarily. So let's see what we have. Cause I'm a man, I'm a child, I'm a horse running wild, I'm a ship caught in a storm, surrounded by love, but still alone. As you can tell, the S sounds are still jumping out. They're a bit too much. So I'm going to show you how to reduce them using the pre effects volume envelope and automation items. The reason why we want to use automation items is that we can layer them. We can add automation on top of this envelope. And both envelopes will be considered. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create an automation item for this envelope. So go down over here, hold Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and just drag it. And we turn this automation or this envelope into an automation item, which you can move around or treat like an item. So now we want to layer this with another item just to control the S's. Now there's two different ways of doing this. The first way is a bit quicker, but it's not as flexible once you're done, as you'll see. So the first way, I'm gonna find the first S, right over here. Cause I'm a man. And I'm gonna draw an automation item right on the S. So go down here, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and draw it. And notice it creates another automation item. This is the normal one we had, and this is the new one we're just going to use for the S sound. Let's stretch it so it fits perfectly. Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac to stretch it from each side. So it just affects the S sound. Then we're going to bring it down. It's a zero now to about three or four dB. Let's go down to four, and let's hear that on this sound. Cause I'm a man. And notice as we change it. We can see the result right here, louder or lower. So here's what it sounds like. Cause I'm a man. That's a bit better. Now we'll copy this and find the next S sound. I'm a this isn't really an S, but it's still popping out. So I'll paste it there and stretch it so it just fits in this space. And it's also brought down 4 dB. And again, we can readjust it as we go. I'm a child, I'm a the same for child, just paste it, stretch it. I'm a child, I'm Maybe bring this one down a bit more. I'm a child, I'm a horse running wild. The S on horse, just paste it here and stretch it. Horse running wild. It's a bit too much. Running wild. I'm a ship. Same thing with this piece right here. I'm a ship. Cut and ship. I'm a ship. Cut. Bit lower. I'm a ship. Cut in a storm. So Cut in a storm. So round up. Bit lower here. Caught in a storm, surrounded by love. And the same thing here. Surrounded by love, but still alone. Still alone. That should be enough for now. Let's hear it back. 
Cause I'm a man, I'm a child, I'm a horse running wild, I'm a ship caught in a storm, surrounded by love, but still alone. If you want to hear the difference, hold on shift when you select these, and then we can right click and mute them. And we can see the difference. Before, look like this. When it's muted, it looks like this. So I think that's a big improvement. But the one problem with this method is it's kind of hard to deal with the S's globally. They're all separate from each other. We can readjust one at a time, but not all together. But with the second method, we can. So let's clear all this and start again. We still created this first one, but now we're gonna go in and change a preference. We'll go to our preferences and go down to automation. Down over here are the preferences for automation items. Let's turn on pool source data when pasting automation items. And that's gonna pool every one of the items we create when we paste them. And this was off by default. So we'll turn it on and just do the same thing. Create one right here, alt on the PC, option on the Mac, bring it down about 4 dB, and we're gonna name it by double clicking it, name it here, DS. This way it's easier to spot. Let's resize it a little better. Now we'll copy it, go to the next one. Cause I'm a man, I'm a child. Right over here and paste it, and it's named DS. So this item is pooling with this item. So if I just one of them, they move together, which will make it easier later for readjusting the S's. So let's stretch this one to the right size, right about there. Let's go to the next one, paste it, stretch it. And we're not gonna worry about the volume right now. We'll tweak that later. I'm a horse. We'll just stretch each one for the right size. Running wild, I'm a ship. I'm a ship, caught in a storm. So it's a bit time consuming, but it's definitely worth it. This is a lot more accurate than using a plugin as a de-esser. A storm, surrounded by love. Surrounded by love, but still alone. And that should do it. You're back. Cause I'm a man, I'm a child, I'm a horse, running wild. I'm a ship, caught in a storm, surrounded by love, but still alone. Before, look like this, and after, look like this. But now because they're pooled, we could select any of them, like this one right here, bring it down, and they all move together. Watch up here, all the S's, they all get readjusted. So at any point during our mix, we can readjust the S sounds, completely separately from the lead vocal. So let's put it about four, that sounded pretty good there. But now you're probably wondering, what if you want to treat each one separately? We can still do that. Let's find one that's a bit off. I'm a child. This one's a bit too loud. Now we don't want to change it here, so it's going to change all of them. But what we can do instead is double click it. Make sure this is off. Baseline amplitude affects pooled copies. If we turn this on, these are going to affect all of them. We don't want that. Leave it off and just change the baseline. If we bring it down or up, it just affects this item, even though they're pooled. So we can bring this down to taste. I'm a child. I'm bit too low. I'm a child. I'm and now at any point, if we want to readjust all the S's, they're going to stay relative to each other. We can then choose this, adjust the baseline, and they both move but they're relative to each other. This one's still lower than this one. Notice? Well, we could also adjust it right here. That's still gonna adjust all of them. I'm a child, I'm a horse, running wild. So again, 
At any point during our mixing, we could readjust all the S's at one time, either using the properties right here, or just adjusting it on any one of the items right here. Pretty powerful feature. That's how I DS vocals in Reaper using automation items. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.